Hi, my name is Graham Kirk, and I'd like to talk to you for a few moments about soaking. Um, but just before we do that, let me read you something from the Bible. This is from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Jesus said these words, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am lowly and meek in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Resting is the act of quietly and confidently allowing yourself to be in the presence of God. Resting is an absence of work or worry, fear, or even performance. Resting empowers you to learn from Jesus how to be with God in all areas of life. Resting is about opening yourself up to who God is for you and receiving all that he wants you to have in your life and circumstances. I think a lot of people have stale devotional experiences because they're striving to enter into a place that God has already given. Resting in God is a critical part of receiving. Life in the Spirit really is about being still and letting God take the initiative. You know, if you think of it this way, the way that we come into salvation is the way that that salvation is sustained. So you didn't wake up one morning and think, you know what, it's a sunny day, I think I'll get saved today. It just didn't happen like that. You and Maybe you weren't even looking for God and suddenly he invades your world because he always takes the initiative. So God gives to us the Holy Spirit. He comes to us in the form of the Holy Spirit actually to teach us how to receive. Salvation is a gift. Resting is a gift. It's one that Jesus gives to you by his presence. Soaking is one of the ways that we learn how to rest. We learn how to receive, we learn how to respond to who God is for us. Soaking allows you to switch off your soul and sit quietly in the inner man of your spirit. Your soul is your mind, your emotions and your will. When your mind and your emotions are pressured uh, and you're feeling overwhelmed, your will defaults to a negative pretty much all the time. Resting removes that pressure and opens you up to the person of God. Soaking is one of the forms of learning how to rest. It brings peace to a troubled mind and it makes our heart, it makes our inner man accessible to the joyful nature of God. And in that place of rest and peace, we can hear God more clearly. When we soak, we are receiving ministry and we are learning deep truth. We have encounters with God that move us into a habitational experience with Him. We become refreshed, we become energized in our relationship, in our faith, in our favor. We grow into a place of overcoming. Soaking, therefore, is restful, it's relaxing, it's intentional, coming into God's presence, knowing that you will receive something from His heart. So in the soaking materials that I've developed, they were designed to radically upgrade our devotional experiences. So imagine sitting in God's presence, being able to hear His voice clearly, feeling His heart for you, and seeing yourself from His perspective. When we soak, we rest in a comfortable position, we close our eyes and we just listen. We put on one of our soaking CDs and listen to what God is saying to you. If you have a particular track that you like, then keep on repeating it until it becomes part of who you are. 
Just let it wash over you constantly. Soaking is like marinating in the spirit until you are soaked through with a new flavor, a new favor in the Lord Jesus Christ. So you can absorb it into your heart, gently start to see what God is saying to you. And in that place, just simply learn how to be with God and let the Holy Spirit wash over you and fill you. If you want more information on the Soaking series, go to the Brilliant Book House site. Just click on Soaking in the itemized list and look at each item. But importantly too, read the reviews of what other people are saying about those materials. Try Soaking for a month as part of your relational uh, devotional experience. You'll be amazed at the difference in you. Thanks for listening.